Today we are visiting H3XL, 25 Adam Street, Burlington, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Henry and I started H3XL as a, as a place that kids could come to engage in, in science, technology, engineering, and math activities from when they're young to stay engaged in STEM activities. Um, and uh, I'd be happy to show you around here. Um, we have here, this is a little lounge, and we have a very large drop-in space um, uh, where kids can be creative with a different kind of construction toys. Um, we have anchor blocks, Legos, Connects, uh, capital blocks, and uh, computerized Legos, including Redo and Mindstorms, and uh, a puzzle corner, uh, tavern puzzles, all sorts of brain games and things for kids. We also have in our space a 3D printer uh, over here, um, and we have a laser cutter in the back as well. And uh, we have all sorts of classes for kids and, and adults um, to, uh, to learn about uh, some of these tools and to explore um, science and technology in a project, in a fun project-based way. Um, so we have a, a very large space, as you can see. Um, we have several classrooms along the edge of the space as well. Four classrooms over here for classes um, and a, and a full-on uh, CAD lab with a, uh, about 10 uh, high-end uh, CAD-capable workstations. So we've got some nice big screens on all these computers as well, and um, and uh, we're running Minecraft workshops as well for kids who want to create inside um, inside their own virtual world. Uh, well, we have DraftSite, and um, we'll have some 3D CAD. Um, we're not really sure which 3D CAD program to go with, but like OpenSCAD or FreeCAD or something like that. Um, we're exploring some of the AutoCAD tools as well. Uh, so um, our laser cutter is back here. It's a laser cutter, a, a Pro Series laser cutter with a 24 by 36 inch uh, cutting bed with an 80 watt laser in, inside. And we have a selection of acrylics and, and um, plywoods as well um, from all sorts of colored and, and fluorescent and clear acrylics. So we'll have classes for both um, kids to learn 2D CAD and, uh, and work and projects on the laser cutter and adults as well. So here is the little phone stand. This is someone else's design on that I downloaded from Thingiverse. But you can, of course, just set your phone on it. <laughs> and what's nice is the living hinge here. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. We also have been uh, running Lego League programs in town, and you know we've had up to 200 kids participate in Junior Lego League and First Lego League programs. And we are actually having uh, First Lego League training classes where we're Kids will uh, program these robots and design their attachments to compete and do different missions on a board like this. This board's missing uh, the Lego pieces now, but um, but there are different points, different things on the board will get get the teams different points, and uh, we'll have our own in-house competition at the end of our training season. And so uh, uh, our our next training season starts in January.